Special moment. The initial part is absolutely wonderful by Van der Merve. Covered here by Australia. The Wallabies there in numbers again. Oof. Big clear out by Skinner. On McDermott. What I'm looking. That's, there's no rush to. This guy's getting two treatment. tries in the third test. Like, oh, from what I see at the moment, Argentina just looks to be a really dominant hit, fully which gets his chest. But I'll let you do your work in the back. Three of work okay? by the Wallabies number ten. Here out coming in from Glenn Young. Time off. I'm just trying to get all the angles, mate, to be so clear on no He's looking um, for angles as we speak there, sure, in nine, the truck. They've got to check the clear out. That's right. But that's the second time that Scotland have know, uh, fumbled the ball head, close so to the Wallabies line. Two of Pelotto in the first half, Gilchrist in the second. Let's just do our work for a second. We're going to official review. OK, Stu. So we're going to have an official review of this. So we're looking at the actions of the clear out. We're looking at the actions of the clear out from Glenn Young on McDermott. That's all about point of contact initially, and then they will go through a process. Just bear with me, Luke, to get you all the angles here. This is the McDermott back one. McDermott takes yep. it on the head from the left shoulder of Glenn Young. Yeah, yeah. Where, bear with us, it's from coming, From the boys. initial view, and it looks worse from there. So, number one has head contact occurred. This and is then the one. two, is there foul play? Yeah. Luke. Then they move to degree of danger. The one on the screen now is the clear one. We're just rewinding, so you could just bear with me, yeah. please. We're rewinding. And on these replays, this does not look good for Glenn Young at all. This is the one now, yeah. Points of contact, slow. What's McDermott's head? Yeah. Bang. I'm going to rock and roll now, Luke. Well, Brody Italic was sent off for New Zealand this morning with it. A reasonably sim similar kind of point of entry and contact. Hang on, let's just work through process. Let's work through process first. It was on the let's Japanese uh, player Himano this morning. This it's McDermott. Sure we've seen them all this evening, and that's direct to the head with force. There you go. We've got the same angle again. It shows yeah. a bicep connection to yeah. the face. Okay, mate. So uh, process. We clearly got uh, head contact, and we do have foul play. 19s come from a distance to clear the guy out. I mean, he has made contact with the head. So we now lot got to look at level of danger. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong on these facts, guys. It's direct to the head. It's shoulder or bicep, and it hits him direct in the head. Okay. So to me, because it's the bicep, it's not as dangerous as it would be with the shoulder. So to me, we're entering this at a yellow card and not a red card. Yeah. Stu, would you buy, the, uh, wow. buy that, that he hits the bicep, which reduces that level of danger? So the pictures to me show it's a bicep connection, reducing level of and, danger. And for that reason, for the bicep, I'm on a yellow guys and not a red. If it was shoulder, this would be a red card, but it's not, it's the bicep. Okay. I think Glenn Young will feel extremely lucky. I think when you consider the velocity, the speed, and the power that went into that impact. Be very careful with clear out. Top of the biceps. If that was his shoulder, or shoulder. it would have been a red card, but it's his bicep. Doesn't make that much difference, really, to the, the level of collision. But you've got to be aware. You must be aware. Well, I think he's fortunate. And when you go through the, the head contact process, the final factor is the mitigating factor. So the mitigation applied by Luke Pierce was there that it was the bicep, not the shoulder, which, in his view, and the official's view, the TMO's view, reduces the sanction from a red to a yellow. That's not my call. Certainly controversial, though.